So you know about speedrunning, right? The art perfecting every movement to the frame, fighting tooth and nail against dozens of other equally masterful players, all fighting to be the best. A contest where every minute, every second, and every frame must be perfect or else your entire run could be for nothing. And as with all competitions, there's bound to be a few cheaters. People willing to splice fake and do everything their power to earn the respect a top runner gets without any of the practice, training, precision that's needed to get that far. But of course, with every run, there's moderators and other top players that are more often than not able to suss out any wrongdoers in their community. And with Poppy Playtime, that was no different. As a matter of fact, currently there's only one one known cheating scandal in the Poppy Playtime community. A run that was posted by the channel called Poppy Woppy before being called out and fading to nothingness, right? Well, not quite. I'm Spice from Cut Cafe, and I'm not only gonna give you a rundown of the whole scandal, but I'm gonna show you what they've been doing to this day, as well as what I believe is their secret second channel, with almost half a million subscribers that is doing the exact same kind of clickbaity nonsense. Don't believe me? Well, just watch as I show you what happened to Poppy Woppy. So first off, let's talk about the scandal that he was called out for. On October 31st, 2021, the channel Poppy Woppy posted his notorious run, a time of a whopping four minutes at the time, posted during the game's infancy back when all we had was chapter one. The reason for the video's notoriety is because several rather obvious and ridiculous cheating methods which Poppy Woppy maintained were glitches that he found himself. Some of these quote unquote glitches include sudden jump cuts and splices, a battery that he picked up in one clip or appearing in the clip after, getting the red hand despite the red hand having no interactability, until after the battery puzzle, an audio anomaly where you can hear him in the toy room using the red hand despite being in the end hallway just walking. <laughs> and most notoriously of all, falling into the void to teleport to the end of the game. Although several people who weren't familiar with the game's glitches believed it to be legitimate, many actual runners of the game, such as Mythic Cheese, were quick to call it out, the biggest of which being Astral Spiff, a content creator who does horror games and comes up with challenges such as beating chapter one while blindfolded. Spiff was a rather small channel at the time, but seeing the comments on the video believing the run to be legitimate, he stepped in to make a video, snuffing out any possibility of Poppy Woppy being seen as a legitimate runner. Spiff pointed out each moment that made him as a moderator of the game suspicious, including things the general public would not have immediately picked up on, like their crosshair not being lined up properly at the start of the run. Taking advantage of this newfound clout, Poppy Woppy quickly monetized their channel and began alluding to a new video where they'd get an even better time. After a few similarly fake videos regarding things like easter eggs or secrets in the game, he finally posted his new 354 run. Woppy seemed to improve on some of the aspects that Spiff touched on, such as the buttons, which he previously was criticized for doing a rather slow job of. He used a few actual skips, such as restarting the checkpoint upon the grab pack VHS being over, to save a few seconds. However, he doubles down, seemingly making an attempt to make his cheating attempts even more noticeable to farm engagement via comments calling him out, particularly this odd fade-in which wasn't present in his other run. Astro Smith comes back for one last video, talking in depth about the fake aspects of the run as well as the occasional real strat. However, he also dispels the idea that Woppy is just some troll. I had a couple comments that were like, yo, this is a very obvious troll. This person isn't trying to do it seriously. If it's a troll, Woppy's, it's about time that Woppy fesses up because if you look at like, you know, the like dislike ratio on the on the previous cheated video a lot of people are fooled a lot of people are genuinely fooled because nobody wants to go to the speedrun leaderboard like it's a lot easier to just see a thumbnail with 354 on it and be like ah oh, yes this is real that's why i'm making this to bring justice to the poppy speedrunning community and expose exactly what all the fakes are despite later attempts to get astral spiff to return by making a full playlist worth of faked runs spiff opted not to give him any more exposure and so they were forgotten due to the fact that no true runners of the game believed poppy woppy to be a real runner it didn't harm the community as badly as say a well-renowned runner being found out as cheat however in march of 2022 a second Segmented Run was able to beat Poppy Woppy's original cheat time. But what's Poppy Woppy doing now? Well, as you may have noticed if you're paying close attention to the screenshots I showed, Poppy Woppy has been changing the titles. Remember that this video was posted when all we had was Chapter 1, and its current title claims that's a Chapter 3 run, despite Chapter 3 not even being out as of scripting this. On the channel themselves, they've tried numerous times to rekindle Smith's interest in exposing the channel, and even starting to make fake runs of other games in hopes of getting a second viral hit of exposure. Woppy made a fake Poppy Playtime Mobile speedrun where you can see rather obvious raster lines from being cut out and edited into the video, as well as an E to interact, proving that this is just the PC version again. They also have a supposed world record speedrun of Amanda the Adventure in which they pretend that when throwing a pear at the dish with an apple inside it, it'll magically cut to the pear being inside, and then if you put an orange in with it, it will give you the demo end tape, with the only anomaly from doing all of this being that Monster Amanda will just be invisible, I guess. Oh yeah, remember that in the title he claims this is a full gameplay walkthrough on top of it being a speedrun, so even if you knew that he was speedrunning the demo, it's still clickbait. 
Oh yeah, and they tagged all endings on this, so he 100% knows. Another thing he began to create was the Crazy Ending series, where he pretended that there was an ending that no one but him found. At least, the title would claim that, but if you actually watched the video, it'd more accurately be described as a secret or an easter egg. Such as this one where he claims that grabbing this PJ Pugapillar toy will kill you. That's not really an ending. However, there's one in particular that I'd like to draw your attention to. This one, titled, I Found a Secret Ending, Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. It's your average Poppy Woppy video, title says chapter Chapter 3 when it's really chapter 1, check. Obviously fake or modded scene, check. Splicing that teleports you to the end of the game, check. But the thing that's important about this video isn't the video, it's the tags. You see, I use something called vidIQ, which helps with making sure your videos are seen by the algorithm. But another feature it has is that it can analyze channels and tell you info about them. That way you can use similar tags and post to the same places, etc, etc. And so when I glanced to the tags, I was confused when I saw the tag Poppy Gary. So naturally, I looked it up and oh lord is it bad. Poppy Gary's is a channel made a year ago that's pumped out over 300 fake Poppy Playtime, Garden of Ban Ban, and other horror game videos. A channel with almost half a million subscribers. Now, at first I just assumed this was a channel that Poppy Woppy wanted to copy, but upon looking further, I'm convinced that these two channels are run by one and the same person. Of course, everything I say from here on out is technically speculation, but there's a lot to point to this being the case. First off, Poppy Woppy did one video on some sort of killer player. What's important is that the thumbnail uses this image, which Gary has used as well. Gary posted the first video with this image on April 14th, 2022, before Poppy Woppy, and again several more times. However, each time it was used, it's had different parts of it blocked off in editing, such as this shadow or this rail. These changes are completely absent from Poppy Woppy's video, despite coming several days after. Even on thumbnails that showed the image in its entirety, we've seen how badly Woppy's crops and edits are, such as in that mobile video, but here the raster lines are completely absent, suggesting that he has the raw file and reused it from his other channel. Back to Poppy Woppy's killer player video, he edits over the player's hands with these huggy hands, which are seen again using the same image in Poppy Gary's video, I found huggy wuggy hands, which interestingly enough, has tags pointing back to Poppy Woppy. Both have a wall of keyword stuffing after their initial blurb in the description, both done in an identical manner, having commas but no spaces, and a line of the exact same size blocking it from the rest of the description. Both have speedruns, so I can't verify the legitimacy of Gary's, seeing as I haven't played nor seen a speedrun of Joyfil before. Both made a video where they become Bunzone Kill Mommy, and again where they become Bunzone Kill Pugapillar. Both made a video where they believe that a green huggy is in this box, and they both seem to have an obsession with hidden cameras, somehow discovering something hidden in the game. And that's just with a little bit of searching. I'm sure if I actually sat down and watched every video from both channels with a fine tooth comb, I could point out a dozen more. But but even looking at this video has given me a sensation of brain rot I just cannot get rid of. I'm sorry, but no. I also want to tackle some of the more weird videos that Gary posts himself, as there are quite a few of these Elsa Gate like thumbnails that he has on his channel, loads of stolen art, and just some all around weird videos on here, like Batman Huggy? Which is unfortunately clickbait. Batman Huggy is just Huggy with the case door in front of his face, which when opened, you opened my case. Uh, plays the poppy dialogue and skips you to the end of the game. Thank you, Gary. Very creative and insightful video you've posted. The thing I want to mention though are these four live videos he's been streaming simultaneously. Apparently Poppy Woppy tried one at one point, but their stream ended after four hours or so. These four streams have been going on for who knows how long. All four are clickbait galore as you can tell, but I decided to watch some just to see what it was. I went for the Buttons with Bunny one first and quickly found out that all of these are just their videos, specifically some fake animation videos, played over and over again. In case you aren't aware, fake animation videos are something rather common with the mascot horror community particularly Garden of Ban Ban, whereas someone will make an animation and attempt to pass it off as real or leaked gameplay of whatever's next in the game series. Oh yeah, made a very great video on this kind of content, and funnily enough, Gary makes Ban Ban videos too. No matter which live stream you go to, you can find an exact copy of each clip on their YouTube. See this one with a prototype hucky? Boom. This one with the Rainbow Friends? Right here. This one where Chrissy Missy gets stolen? There it is. It's not even being done subtly either. These clips are just stitched together so haphazardly that that doesn't even make sense. No sane person could watch this and go, yeah, that's full gameplay of chapter three like the title suggests. Hell, the Bunzo video doesn't even show Bunzo, at least not when I watched it. So I reported the video and you wanna know how long the live stream has been going on for? Seven 
thousand hours. That's how long this one live stream's been going for with the same animations and the same fake gameplay. Do you want to know how many days in a row that is? 291 days. That's almost an entire year. Day in, day out, the same minute long fake animations, tricking little kids into giving Daddy Gary thousands of dollars. And the reason I say thousands is because remember, this channel has almost half a million subscribers. Combine that with all of these videos, some of which get over 200,000, some of which get over a million, several of which get over 7 million, and you get a lot of ad revenue. So on top of that, with four separate live streams leeching off whatever kids click onto to squeeze that juicy ad revenue off of, and then top that off with a second channel that does roughly the same exact thing, as well as the possibility of there being even more out there that we just haven't found yet, and you're gonna get a big payday. But either way, there's a lot of weird clickbait channels out there, whether that be fake speedrunners, fake gameplay, or just a really misleading title and thumbnail. All I can really say is be careful out there and if you see clickbait remember to try and do your part to report them don't comment on their videos as it just gives them more engagement telling youtube to recommend it to more and more people although youtube may not always take down videos like these even after reporting them getting a handful of false or misleading videos taken off the platform is better than none at all and just to get the obligatory message out of the way obviously don't attack or harass these channels and only report videos that you believe are misleading and against terms of service and like i said before there's technically no confirmation that poppy gary and Poppy Woppy are the same person. However, given the evidence, in my opinion at least, it's very likely. This was Spice from Cut Cafe, and I hope to be seeing you. Peace.